Hey there, I'm Kitchen Kimberly. Welcome back to my channel and into my kitchen. I'm so thrilled that you stopped by today because we are making my hearty beans and greens soup. I love soup season and this happens to be an amazing soup. What makes it amazing you ask? Well, I'll tell you. It's the only soup that has ever made my husband ask for kale. Yes, he actually asked for kale. Honey, can we have that soup, that one with the kale in it? Yes, hallelujah. I love it. This plant thing is gonna work, y'all. Stay tuned. I'm Kitchen Kimberly. I'm a cookbook author and professional recipe developer. My husband and I recently transitioned to a plant-based lifestyle, and now my mission is to help others do the same. Subscribe to this channel and join us on our plant-based journey. Now let's make that hearty beans and green soup. We'll start this easy recipe by chopping some vegetables. I'm chopping one yellow onion, a zucchini, and about a cup of cremini mushrooms. Now these mushrooms say wash before using, so I'm just going to grab my small salad spinner, give them a quick rinse inside the basket, and spin them to remove excess moisture. We'll just give them a coarse chop and they're ready to go. Once your vegetables are chopped and ready, we'll go ahead and get a nice large stock pot over medium high heat. I add a few tablespoons of vegetable broth and get that warm and then saute the onions until they're tender, about five minutes. Next I'll add the zucchini and mushrooms and continue cooking those for another two or three minutes. Add a little more broth if necessary just to prevent the vegetables from sticking. We'll stir in the garlic and the seasonings and cook for another minute or two or until it's fragrant, stirring constantly. Next we'll add a can of diced tomatoes and a can of stewed tomatoes or crushed tomatoes, whichever you like. We're also putting in a can of tomato paste and some liquid aminos. Add in the remaining six cups of broth and let it come up to a simmer. Next, we add canned beans. If you missed my pantry video, I'll put a link in the description box below so you can check that out. A well-stocked pantry, in my opinion, has lots of variety of canned beans. So today, I'm selecting red kidney beans and cannellini beans, or white kidney beans, but you can use any two cans of beans that you like. First up, we'll put in the cannellini beans, and then we add the dark red kidney beans. I've just rinsed and drained these in a small strainer. Makes it super easy. We'll just bring this mixture up to a gentle simmer and let it cook for a few minutes while we chop our kale. Go ahead and add in that kale. I'm using a whole bunch of kale, stems removed of course, rinsed and coarsely chopped, or you can buy the convenient prepackaged type if you prefer that. We'll just stir that in and let that simmer for about five minutes. Meanwhile, I've cooked one and a half cups of brown rice pasta. You can use any whole grain pasta you like for this soup. I've simply cooked it until it's al dente and then scooped it out using that same strainer that I used to rinse and drain the beans. Next, we're going to add freshly chopped parsley. 
and we'll stir in some nutritional yeast for that delicious cheesy flavor. Now we'll just let that heat through for a few moments and then we're ready to ladle up that delicious soup and enjoy. Wasn't that an easy recipe? I hope it's a recipe that you will add to your regular rotation and enjoy all soup season long. You can find the complete printable recipe on my website, kitchenkimberly.com. I hope you found this video helpful and that you'll try this soup. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And be sure to tell me in the comments below, what's your favorite soup recipe? What do you like to add to your kale to make your husband eat it? <laughs> I'd love to hear your ideas too. Be sure to click on the description box below. When you click on the word more, it will expand so you can see all the information I share. Additional recipe tips, links directly to the recipe that's printable on my website, as well as links to the goodies that I share and use in my kitchen. I'm Kitchen Kimberly. Remember, you have the power of your own good health right there in your hands. Just look at what's on the end of your fork, or in this case, your spoon, and make sure it's plant-based. Have a great day, and I'll see you again soon.